the recession is going to be bad. We don't know how bad, but it will be bad. Look, the strategy is here to deliberately shut down big segments of the economy as a way of coming to grip with this crisis. You know, these shutdowns are not accidents, it's a deliberate act. We are shutting down non-essential sectors that account for one-third of GDP. That means every month that this shutdown continues, there will be at least a, a, a loss of 3% of GDP just in those sectors. Then there are the wider implications on the rest of the economy. I think the policy reaction of European policymakers are very strong. As far as uh, uh, the financial sector and monetary policy is concerned, we have huge asset purchases. This is very welcome. We have uh, in, in the regulators are allowing uh, uh, banks to re uh, use the buffers, uh, uh, the so-called counter-cyclical buffers that they build up during the, during the good years. If there ever was a time to use that, that's obviously now. We know from past crises, the problem is that if somebody loses his job for a long time, they lose skills and have difficulty come back into the labor market. We know if non-performing loans are allowed to build up on a large scale, it impairs households and banks and financial institutions, balance sheets, and it makes it, uh, that will be a drag on the recovery also. So putting all this money into the system and reduce uh, 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 the risk of, of non-performing loans, reduce the risk of layoffs, is really going to help the recovery gain speed once the medical crisis is under control. Debt levels are, are, are not a concern here where we, we need to, to, to be sure that, that we inject uh, uh, sufficient money to contain uh, the, the crisis. All European countries have the fiscal base to react powerfully. The part of Europe we should be, that we should focus on first and foremost are the smaller, uh, the smaller economies in Central and Eastern Europe outside the, the, uh, the EU. They don't have the deep financial markets and the linkages to the EU uh, that are uh, uh, important for the policy space, for their ability to react forcefully. And actually, more than half of these countries have already approached us for emergency assistance. So we are an important vehicle for allowing these, these, ensuring that these countries have the necessary fiscal space so that they can also react in an appropriate way to the crisis.